Gotta happen. Fight. Oh, shh. Hit. Okay, here we go. Base is under attack. They found me. They know I'm here. Welcome back, survival fans. You're watching Synergy Gaming TV. I am your host, Synergy, and we are back playing subsistence in episode eight. Now, this is literally just finishing off. We're, we're picking up almost right where we left off in the last video. Uh, I finished off the day just doing a little bit of gathering. It's just turning into morning right now. We did get attacked um, by one hunter. I stumbled near the base when I was looting yesterday and I stumbled near there. The guy took a couple pod shots at me and chased after me, but I ran back here. And so we got attacked in the middle of the night. He threw like a grenade, a couple arrows, bang, bang. And I heard a shotgun go chick, chick, and that was it. And he, and he took off and ran away. So it wasn't really anything to be worried about. But we've got a bunch of stuff that's been built. We've got the uh, the wall, the glass wall, and a couple railings and uh, the ceiling for the deck out in the front. So let's take care of this first. We'll get rid of this bad boy. This is great because we also need some nails to make some arrows. <clears throat> now, place down this. There we go. Look at that. Now we've got a sweet view out here. Taking a look at the pond. We'll also be able to see a lot more of what's going on out there. Not to mention bullets can't come flying through here, which is sweet. Now, uh, we are going to have to deal with these cronies. And to do that, we're going to need some arrows. So we're going to use up all of those. I probably actually don't even. I could just shotgun this dude right in the face. Just like that. And I think we have to... We'll just bullet this guy while we're waiting for arrows. Bango. He's going to run away. And into the water. Okay, we're not dealing with that right now. Butcher this guy. So I know killing level 1 and level 2, not very good. Not very good. There we go. Come at me, bro. Boom. But I want to be able to do stuff in my base. We're going to put on the deck and the balcony and some of the other stuff here. And just get a little bit more of this base finished off. Uh, Alright, so we're going to put this on just like this. There we go. And if I had more nails, I'd build a door for up there as well. Cool. And I'll put on some railing. So I had these pre-built already just, just because. Um, there we go. One railing there. And I didn't build a halfer because I'm a goofy son of a gun. So we've got that. And I've got another full-sized railing, which isn't going to obviously work here. But it's going to be needed for up here. So we will do that. There we go. So, got a railing going on, which is sweet sauce. Um, and, I mean, we could use always use more windows. We do need another half railing there. But we need nails, I believe, for the railing. Do we need nails for the railing? We do. We do need some nails. And we need some food, because we're low. We did, I mean, we got four fat. That's still, that's still not very good, considering how many, uh, how many bullets we just shot. So we've got a couple of arrows for hunting, because we're going to need to hunt, actually, for more uh, everything. Um, we're doing pretty good on, on feathers and leather right now. We do need to plant some cotton. I really want to get that BCU extender done. I think that's going to be next, now that we've got the, the solid walls everywhere except for this. It's the only opening. Um, and then we can do the bobbing and weaving upstairs. So not too, too bad. I think that's going to work out all right. Uh, we'll take the rifle out because I don't want to lose it. Because we will lose it. And we'll take the shotgun shells just in case we find some level 3 bears or something. That we can wreck. And we will load up on them pistol bullets. In case we run out of arrows. And take the bullets out, because we know that if we die, we lose 33% of everything we're carrying. Or 33% of the stacks of the stuff that we're carrying. Cooking the food. I almost forgot about it. I'm getting better at training my ear to listen to the burning of meat. Like the sizzling. You guys hear that? Yeah, so that means food's cooking. So I'm getting more attuned to listening to it. And then hopefully I won't get caught my pants down and burn all my food all the time. Okay, we'll cook up that water. Uh, we can pull out the bow here. And 
Get the water we need for the hand washing. So I always keep two canteens on me, one for water in case we're stuck out in the middle of uh, nowhere. <laughs> I was gonna say something else. And then I keep a, so hand washing water and then clean water for us to drink. Now, <clears throat> uh, to my knowledge, dirty water, if you drink dirty water, it has a 100% chance to infect you. Speaking of which, we were fighting a bear, we got hit, we were infected, so we did use one of our antidotes. Uh, which is a shame, but uh, we do have enough. Actually, we can just make another one. I forgot about that. I knew I was saving livers for something. Livers, 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 and antidote. Basic. Done sauce. There we go. We'll keep that meat on us for when we go out and about running around. And uh, just in case, we don't need that on us. Any Ooh, we got more full stacks. So we're keeping all the, of the, uh, the ashes because it makes gunpowder. Uh, I know a lot of other people might use it for fertilizer or whatever else, but I like to use it for the pew pews. Which is what we're gonna do. So, uh, let's go do some gathering. What's our, actually I should look at what our energy, yeah, I knew the power was gonna be quite low. That's because we made a bunch of more glass last night so that we could bash out uh, another window here. I do want to get, um, the power upgrade done here. We do need two alloys. We only have one. Um, so, two alloys. We only need one. Actually, let's get this BCU done so we can start making some more farms. One alloy, some thingers, and some thingers. So, we just need energy for that. Um, this is going to burn out here pretty quick. As soon as that's done refining, that will burn out, and then we will uh, totally get more power. I wonder if I should wait. We can let the generator run a little bit, I guess. We're just really low on, on fuel, and I don't want to... Oh, these are so close to being done. Uh, put some more water in there. Uh, one, and one, two. All right. So, nice to have the little balcony on there now. House is looking a little more complete. This should be done here any second. And then... I think I'm gonna shut off the generator. I want to save as much fuel for when we're actually refining things. Um, so we'll take the glass out of here for now, put it in with the storage. 50 glass pieces, that's pretty good. Glass fragments, whatever. Um, and then we need more iron. Dun, 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 dun. We can split in half. There we go. So we're gonna need those, because what we'll do is we'll upgrade this power so that we'll have the metal ingots Adhesive. Do I have three adhesive? I, I do. Do I need any adhesive for the BCU extender? I don't. Hmm. I really want to get that BCU extender done though, and then I can I can organize that over there. We can get some more farm plots and really get growing some food. It's kind of what I want to do. In the meantime, though, it really doesn't matter what the case is because we don't have the power to do it anyway. So let us. Um. We need nails. We're on a nail mission. So let's go see if we can find some. Uh, one of the, the, the episodes that's going to be coming up here pretty soon, guys, is we're going to make a big trip into the mountains over there, and we're going to fight ourselves. Uh, now, are they mountain lions or bobcats? One or the other. We're going to be fighting those because we need some sinew, and uh, they're not too bad. You can, you know, arrow them and then uh, run away and then arrow them and then run away and, and kind of play around that way. Uh, until we get some sinew, but we're gonna need some sinew. We're gonna need some cotton. Uh, I do have cotton seeds in the thinger. Uh oh See 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 look at all them sons of sons of bees it is zinc, right? I don't even know how you get up here. I think it's this one this way. Yeah, right here. Oh look at that Sweet that's iron pretty sure it is Yeah and we'll grab this just because we're eventually going to need, <coughs> excuse me, we're eventually going to need a truck ton of this um, zinc. So we'll just, if we farm it all now instead of like, oh, there's some zinc and then leaving it because we don't need it. Uh, I've always been like a hoarder, so to speak, in these survival games. I try and collect as much as possible, as often as possible to make sure that I have everything I need when I need it. Because there's no point in wasting time, right? I'm just, it's not like min-maxing. Because min-maxing is lame, I think, uh, in my opinion. But it's not. It's it's about being efficient, right? You don't want to just have to go out specifically to harvest some zinc when 
there's been zinc around us this whole time and we just chose not to get it. I think that's foolish when we have that opportunity. Arrow, nice shot. I thought that was a base that just spawned in over there. I got sidetracked. Those trees I thought were a base. I was like, what? Another hunter base? I've only found one so far and that's, I'm okay with that. I don't want to find the other ones. Now, do we know if you hunt rogue hunters, do they eventually level up like other ones do? Or do they always just stay kind of garbage? Let me know in the comments below. I haven't really had too much experience with rogue hunters. I've, I mean, I've killed a bunch, but they always seem to be shirtless and sometimes they have helmets. I've seen them occasionally have a helmet. It was a normal hunter that just didn't have a shirt on. I'm just not sure how that works. Someone in the comments or let me know in the comments below. That would be sweet. Holy shit. Man, I just can't get your break. If it's not an an if it's not a hunter killing me, it's an animal killing me. It's like enough is enough already. Jeez. All right, so well, we're back at base now after being chased by a bear and wrecked my shit. Um, we managed to get a few nails, so we'll repair the base here real fast. Just a little bit of damage that the bear did. There we go. Nothing else to the door. No, everything else seems good. We did take a little bit of grenade damage from that, from that, whatever that weak ass hunter attack was, which I'm okay with. Not complaining. And like Cold Games got the message about back off, homie, <laughs> with, with the hunters, because holy Christ. Um, we could eat the meat too. Okay, so it's looking like our tomatoes over there are done, which is sweet. So in patch uh, alpha 54, they've added now that you have to uh, hold down the button to gather resources, which I think is awesome. Um, I think it's just a, a kind of a cool realistic thing. We're going to extract the seeds. I want to do five, six, seven, eight, and we will replant one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Full water. We got some maters. These are also super close. We have some carrots that are finished. Are they? Yeah. One. Two, two carrots finished up. So we are eventually going to, uh, I think this is all going to be carrots, carrots and tomatoes, and then we'll do a whole onion bed, but we're not quite there yet. We need 450 power almost. That's actually really close. So we'll get the fruits and vegetables in there. This is great. Um, almost there. And then we're going to make the BCU range extender, which is going to be sweet. We need this, this, and this, and some of these. I believe, and then we're gonna have to make a little piece of wall to go on the back of that so that we can put the BCU extender on it. Crafting. <clears throat> there we go, we got that, we got that, and a little piece of wall is done. Okay, so I wanna just confirm, I am pretty sure that it has to be on a wall. It does, okay, I just wanted to confirm that it had to be on a wall. It says it has to be on a wall, and if we just put that little piece right there, and then we should be able to put this little extender. I'd like to hide it. Honestly, if this was like over just a little bit more, I'd like to hide it like back here where nobody can see it. it would be kind of nice. But once you place this, you can't move it. That's the other problem. That's what else. That's what else sucks. Well, looks like it has to go here. We don't have a choice. So there we go. We've now got the range extender placed down and we should be able to move these beds. No problemo. It's easy to do the first one. It's really hard to do the second one to line it up to be really good with that first one. Let's see what we can get here if we get lucky to stand on the the exact bed that we're moving. Let's see how close we can get it. That. Hey, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good if I don't say so myself. Okay, so I see that that platform's a little damaged. We're gonna grab the stuff and fix that up. Again, it's not a big deal. I don't use this for anything but the about the greenhouse and eventually we'll get that all nice glassed in and making it look pretty dope. Oh, BCU extender, that's so sweet. I really do want to get the uh, the power the power on this thing solved because right now when this runs with both lasers, this generator generates one power. It uses one power, so we're still barely making any power, but if we use if we use the increase the increase the power efficiency, then we'll be sitting really really pretty. So we're a little ways off from getting that done. 
Okay, guys, I just I just jumped into this lake, grabbing some stuff here. There is a fisherman hunter just on the other side, and he saw me. There he is. You see him? I don't want to fight you, bro. Just fish. Just fish, dude. I don't want to fight you. Just, just fish, bro. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want none of it. Or all of it, or some of it. I don't even know, just, I don't want any. Just, go away. I really want to kill him. Because they give gun parts. But I cannot afford to deal with these guys right now. I was getting my Valorant hotkeys confused. <laughs> I thought I was playing. I was using F to activate stuff. There we go. So he's just chilling there in the lake. I wonder if I can fish on the other side of the lake. I wonder if we can just be friends. Can I be friends? Why do they always just want to kill me? There we go. Is this what it's turning into? I will fuck you up, homie. I am not putting up with your shit again. We're going to be the headshot gods today. Ooh, loot box. See it? Where you at, boy? Or are you just blasting away deers and shit? I am not in the mood. Not in the mood, but I want that chest, so we're going to go try and get it. Leave Mr. Fisherman alone. Oh, there's another one over there. Look at this. Uh-oh. No, don't, don't see me. 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 Don't walk over here. Don't walk over here. I feel like after the patch, the loot table, like this loot table out here has dropped substantially. We used to just be running like crazy, crazy loot runs. And now there's not so much. I didn't, we did a video on the patch notes, but I don't, I don't recall there being anything about that. Oh, he's taking damage. Where do you take damage from? I'll take that one shotgun shot for a bear. Done. Oh, and that was a good fatty one too. Nice big fatty McFatterson. Drop that fat in there. That's yummy. We got a couple fuel bricks just because we had so much fiber floating around that we use the, the fuel sometimes to save up on the wood, which is, I think is totally fine until I come across something where I'm like, well, I wish I would have had that fiber. Oh, finally, we've got a surplus of fuel. It's a little bit, not much, but a little bit. That always helps. Yeah, it's always good to have extra fuel and extra stuff. You know, I thinking about all of this, I've come to the conclusion that we need more power. I think in the next episode, we're going to make that trip up to the mountains. We're going to fight a bunch of mountain lions or bobcats or bob lions or... <clears throat> whatever they are and we're gonna get a bunch of sinew and make a bunch of rope because we are gonna work on solar power What I'd like to do is have enough power generation That when everything is running We're still or maybe not maybe not with the refinery, but when when the base is chilling and we've got the fridge running Then I think it takes out point two power right now. Let's take a quick peek here. Yeah minus point two so if we can generate just a bit more than than 0.2 power so that even when we're not in the base then we can push the power above 500 all on its own i think that's what i want to work on i want to work on next um but for this one i think we're just going to farm up some more stuff i'm pretty sure i heard some footsteps here somewhere um let's also try and get that actually what we'll try and do is get the refinery upgraded all right, so we literally just waited here like a day, got the resources ready, and we just upgraded the increased power efficiency, reduce it by 25%. So you can see here now, instead of minus one power, it's minus 0.75, which is really good. So between that and the fridge, when we're running the generator, we're still gonna be netting a little bit of power, a very small amount, but a little bit. So we're gonna focus on, on solar panels for sure. You can also see here as well, looking at the upgrades on the fridge, it also needs rope. So rope uses sinew, and then you'll see down here to make solar panels, 
We also need rope, which is sinew. So between that, I'd like to get like four solar panels and maybe like a wind turbine or two or three or four or five. So ideally what I wanna do is we're gonna put like a storage, like a utility room on the back of this base. And it's gonna hold a bunch of power storages. Okay, mass, not so important, but power storages on the back of the base. So when we're not in the base doing stuff, this power level is gonna push up you know, hopefully push up and push up and push up and push up without having to run the generator. And then, during the nighttime, we can come back, turn on the refinery, and, you know, drain that power without having to run the fuel, you know what I mean? So it'd be nice to have the, the, the power storage to be able to run a bunch of things at nighttime and not have to worry about it. You know, like, I'm talking a bunch. So we'd have probably have like 4,000 power, maybe 5,000 power storage, you know, in that little room in the back. Holy, hunters are fighting a moose. Holy shit, look how close they are. Holy God, they're like right there. Speaking of which, let's see where the rest are. Roaming there, base there. Oh, and is that a base or is that roamers? No, that's a wooden base right there. We haven't uncovered the other base yet. So that's not bad, actually, because that gives us all of up here to farm and and look and stuff like that. But we do have to come over here. We're going to probably pass this base a little bit as we come over here to find mountain lions and stuff like that. We can fight the moose, but they're, I think, a lot harder than, than bobcats, in my opinion. But we'll see how that goes. I can't believe how close they are, those guys. Definitely not worth the bullets. Oh, I really want to shoot one. I really want to shoot one. But then we have to fight three of them. See, he does have a helmet. See? He's got a combat helmet. Okay. Looks like we're getting a bit of an attack here. These sons of bitches. I don't know what happened. I don't know if he was, like, going to fish or, or what. Didn't say base is under attack. He was just walking. Headshot. And now he's dead. I think, uh, I think I made a man. I was just chilling in the base. Actually, I ran out there and grabbed some water, watered the plants, and then filled up the canteens just right there, and I came back, and he shot at me. So he must have been a fisherman from the other base because he came out here. I don't know if, what you guys can see. It's pretty dark. Even if I lighten it up, you guys aren't going to... You guys aren't going to be able to see it. Ooh, shotgun shells. That was actually a pretty good loot bag. To be honest. So we mollied. God, these guys with their mollies. It's insane. Just molly, 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 molly. What did he hit? This. One, two, and this. Good. Didn't quite fill it. Anything else get damaged? Fridge didn't get damaged. So just this, this, and this. The roof get damaged. No. Nope. Looking good. How are the rest of the roofs? Roof pieces. Rough. Roof. Rough. What is it for you from? Let me know in the comments below if you say rough or roof. Or if it's a rough roof. Let me know. Um, cool. So we got some shoddy ammo off that dude. That's pretty sweet. Some gun parts. Oh, he was fishing because he's got uh, the oil. Let's go put this water away. Hopefully I don't get blapped. Keep doing my, uh, my Valorant jiggle peeks. I feel like, like, Cold Game's up their aim again, but he didn't talk about anything in the patch notes. Ooh, chest. There we go. Okay, how do we get up on this one again? It's like right here or something. Oh, I'm not used to the footsteps, guys. I'm not used to the footsteps. Not used to it. More of that potassium. We're also out of fuel. Which means no more refining, which is why we need to get power. Like power's gonna be power's the next episode, for sure. Like it's it's gotta happen. I don't know. Fight. Oh sh hit. Okay, here we go. Base is under attack. They found me. They know I'm here. How many have we got? One, two, three, one, two? I don't even know. Headshot. 
This is why we have the rifle. Get into a safe zone. Oh, he's got a helmet on. That's not good. So these guys move? Like, how are you supposed to lock on? This is insane! I don't know, I don't know how much you guys can see. I know it's dark. Holy god, this guy's got an arsenal on him. I don't want to get dinked again, guys. I know this is going to happen. I'm going to, like, peek over. It's going to be, like, headshot. Holy god. This is no... Arrows and then pistol, <laughs> shotgun. I'll let you run away, boy. I'll let you run away. Holy God, guys, we survived one finally. We survived one finally. Nice loot. So, oh man, we finally survived one. It's about bloody time. They didn't even molly me that much. Okay, see that wasn't so bad. That's how they used to be all the fights, and then all of a sudden I just started getting dumpstered, like one after another after another. Fight. See? Look at this. Look at this. Uh-oh. Not good. See how they move? Headshot. These guys are crazy. The nice thing about these dudes, though, is they don't have, uh... They don't have mollies. I can handle this. Ow! That's a brain shot. Okay, now I gotta be careful. That it literally took 50% of my health. So, I have to be careful. So, if you stay by the fire, you gain a little more HP. So, now they take off. Okay, rogue hunters aren't that bad. I can deal with rogue hunters whenever they want. Yeah, see, just, just junk. They just got bullets on them. Two helmets, though, on these clowns. Fight. Oh my god, they're... Jeez! These dudes! Headshot. Down. They're pretty, uh, they're pretty janky, eh? They just, like, dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge, like, a lot. See how they run to the bushes? Like I can hit these guys and hit these guys and hit these guys. Body shots with the pistol is just trash. So we got like another brain dude here. There we go. Now they see me. We have to Fight. Oh my god, we have to wipe out this whole camp. Headshot. Yeah. Green shot. Green shot. Yeah, you want to fight it? I'll take the arrow though, homie. Look at how many bullets that was. Body shots. I think that needs to be refined just a little bit. Unfortunately, we wasted all that ammo on loser. <laughs> Excuse me, loser rogue hunters. Sucks. This is bag. Bag symbol. There we go. I mean, I'm getting half of the bullets back, right? That I used, or some bullets back. Man, we killed four dudes there. All right. Cold games on my side today. Now, let me know in the comments below, guys, if rogue hunters attack. Uh, extinguish that. If they, if they like, do, uh, revenge attacks or not? I don't think they do. I know bases do, and we attack, I killed the guy there, so they'll probably re-attack me again. Okay, we'll unload this stuff super quick. Um, let's just put all the bullety things 
here. And that stuff there. Bullety things. There and there. And then bullets. Ding, 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 ding. Some rifle bullets. Oh, that also goes here. And then this stuff goes here. Okay. Jeez, guys. We might call this episode here. Um... <coughs> that was actually crazy. It wasn't supposed to be that. I just wanted to go farming. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna farm up a lot. We're gonna get some nails and get the wood and get the fuel and get some stuff figured out for the next episode. We'll get some ammo and then we're gonna make our trip up for to Bobcat Zone and we're gonna farm ourselves a bunch of sinew and get working on the power. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button so it gets out to the people that actually want to see it. Once again, I want to thank you so much for watching Synergy Gaming TV. Remember to subscribe. I'm your host, Synergy, and we'll catch you guys on the flip side.